My name is Andre Horvat. The lecture in front of us is on modeling of radiation attenuation through water sprays, a popular active fire safety measure. The presented work is a summary of a consultancy project that was successfully completed in spring 2018. The subject is organized in eight sections. In the introduction, we will define the excellent scenario which was modeled and present the overall objectives of the study. The layout and main operating parameters of the investigated spray system will be described next. This is followed by a brief description of modeling principles of the spray and droplet behavior with the description of CFD simulation domain and its boundary conditions. We will also look in how to model thermal radiation and its attenuation by spray droplets. Next, a quick review will be performed of the initial CFD simulation results for the single and the double water spray curtain. More time will be spent on algebraic parametric analysis of radiation attenuation that determines the performance of the water spray curtain. The implementation of the analysis findings will be discussed by proposing system improvements. The CFD simulation results of such system will be also presented. At the end, I will summarize the conclusions of the study and present the design recommendations. The study explores an accident scenario of a fuel tank that is located only 45 meters from the nearest buildings. A preliminary analysis showed that in the case of a fire, thermal radiation at the nearest buildings would still be 6 kilowatts per square meter, which is unacceptably high. A question arises if a water curtain arrangement can be designed to reduce the level of thermal radiation to 3 kilowatts per square meter. Figures 1 and 2 show a general layout of the fire source, water curtain and protected buildings, together with dimensions and distances that are important for the current thermal analysis. According to preliminary studies and conducted tests, it appears that a single water curtain array is insufficient to lower the irradiation to the desired level. Therefore, an additional study is required to characterize and understand the main parameters of the radiation heat shielding system in order to improve the performance of the water curtain arrangement by either changing its current operating conditions or installing an additional row of water sprinklers. The initial tests were conducted for a single water curtain array that is shown in figure 3. In the investigated layout the water distribution pipe and nozzles are at the elevation of 5 meters. 21 water curtain nozzles are directed upward with the 5 meter spacing between them. Each head has a nominal flow rate of 92 liters per minute and the spray cone angle of 160 degrees. In addition, 26 flat fan heads are directed downward. The distance between individual heads is 2.5 meters. A nominal flow rate per head is 63 liters per minute with a spray cone angle of 120 degrees. Two types of sprinklers used in the arrangement had been identified as GW water curtain nozzle for the upper part of the barrier and PNR GX flat fan nozzle for the lower part of the barrier. Nevertheless, a significant amount of ambiguity still exists about the design and performance characteristics of the utilized sprinklers. Especially important are the droplet initial diameter and speed. Additional data related to the system layout had been provided during the project. The fuel tank has a diameter of 60 meters. The fire source can be assumed to have the maximum irradiation heat flux of 20 kilowatts per square meter at the tank wall. The distance of interest is 75 meters from the center of the tank or 45 meters from the tank wall where the irradiation heat flux decreases to 6 kilowatts per square meter. The water curtain shall be placed approximately 10 meters from the building which means 35 meters from the tank wall. 
the temperature of 12 degrees Celsius and 75% relative humidity are the anticipated external, that is ambient conditions. Also for the analysis, zero wind conditions can be assumed. Extensive CAD simulations had been conducted to determine the most likely size of droplets and their speed. Figure 4 shows the simulation domain which covers only a representative section of the water curtain. The water nozzles are placed in the mid elevation in order to provide enough space for the upward and the downward directed sprays. The water curtain is exposed to the thermal radiation that is entering the simulation domain through the front surface. On both sides, periodic boundary conditions allow for droplets to exit and re-enter the simulation domain. In addition, the spray nozzles are rotated for 5 degrees around their vertical axis to avoid excessive droplet collision. Figure 5 shows their orientation. The selected parameters replicate the observed spray coverage with 100% overlap. Steady-state CFD simulations had been conducted using 10,000 particle tracks to describe droplet behavior. By comparing the droplet trajectories with the test observations, the most likely spray parameters had been established. These are the droplet diameter of 800 microns, the downward speed of 12 meters per second, the upward speed of 20 meters per second, Although an increase of the upward speed to 28 meters per second had been later recommended to improve the vertical coverage. Modeling of radiation interaction with the gaseous mixture and the spray droplets is another important subject. In the conducted CFD simulations, the Monte Carlo radiation model with 10 million photon tracks had been employed. In this model, a directional source that is equivalent to the black body radiation of 20 kilowatts per square meter at the tank wall is imposed at the front of the simulation domain. The absorption and emission of the gaseous mixture are captured with the multigrade radiation approximation. The radiation absorptivity associated with the spray droplets alpha is calculated as where psi is related to the spectral index of absorption k and d is the droplet diameter. As psi is wavelength independent, the resulting radiation absorptivity needs to be average over the whole spectrum. On the other hand, the effect of scattering can be neglected due to relatively large size of droplets. It is worth emphasizing that attenuation of thermal radiation is associated with the radiation absorptivity and emissivity of liquid droplets and water vapor. Whereas the liquid droplets are directly produced by water sprays, the water vapor is either the result of high relative humidity prescribed as an initial condition or due to droplet evaporation. In addition, the modeling tasks have to be conducted in the cylindrical coordinate system to accommodate the expanding nature of the radiative heat transfer, that is the decreasing intensity with the distance from the source. Figure 7 presents the radial distribution of the irradiation heat flux in absence of the spray curtain. The fuel tank with the fire is on the left and the location of the periodic CFD simulation domain is marked on the right. These initial modeling results had been also compared with the output from the DNV FAS software. A close agreement between both sets of modeling results had been demonstrated. CFD simulations had been conducted for a single and a double water spray curtain. Particle tracks for the single water spray curtain are presented in figure 6. Figure 8 below shows the particle tracks for a staggered arrangement of the double water spray curtain. Note that droplets of the double water spray curtain do not reach the same height as those of the single water spray curtain 
due to stronger entrainment of the ambient air. Figure 9 shows the irradiation heat flux attenuated by the single and figure 10 by the double water spray curtain at the distance of 75 meters from the origin. A visual comparison of both cases does indicate a decrease in the irradiation heat flux when implementing the second water spray curtain. Nevertheless, the reduction is smaller than expected. To quantify the results, the irradiated heat flux had been averaged over the surface area below the elevation of 9 meters, at the distance of 75 meters from the origin. For the single water spray curtain, the irradiation heat flux is 4,687 watts per square meter, and for the double water spray curtain, 3,674 watts per square meter. These results are above, although close, to the required value of 3 kilowatts per square meter. Nevertheless, they do create a confidence that the irradiation heat flux at the distance of 75 meters can be decreased below 3 kilowatts per square meter. To achieve the imposed requirement, the droplet initial size, their speed and the related distribution will again become the main focus of the study. Algebraic modeling of the radiation attenuation in the ambient and through the spray curtain had been required to determine the droplet size that would lead to further reduction in the irradiation heat flux. The assembled model is based on the following definition of the radiation intensity, where R is the volume fraction of droplets in the spray, kappa denotes the ambient and droplet absorption coefficient, and X is the radial distance from the source origin. The ambient absorption coefficient is calculated by using the multigrade radiation model and then further calibrated to yield the correct results. The absorption coefficient of spray droplets, kappa, is defined as where alpha is the droplet radiation absorptivity and d is the droplet diameter. Once the radiation intensity is obtained, the irradiation heat flux is calculated with the following expression. The device algebraic model and its mathematical implementation had been first validated using the CFD results for a single spray curtain. Figure 9 shows the resulting radial variation of the irradiation heat flux that had been obtained with the algebraic model. Most of the heat flux reduction that occurs with increasing distance from the tank is due to the radial expansion. The effect of the water spray at the distance of 65 meters from the origin is marked on the diagram. The radiation distribution presented in figure 11 had been calculated for the droplet diameter of 800 micrometers, the droplet volume fraction of 0.015% and the spray width of 2 meters. These input parameters, that is the volume fraction and the spray width, had been obtained directly from the CFD simulation results. The algebraic model yields the irradiation heat flux of 4,713 watts per square meter at a distance of 75 meters from the origin. This closely matches the average irradiation heat flux of 4,687 watts per square meter that we obtain with the CFD model for a single curtain system. The developed and validated algebraic model had been then used to conduct a parametric analysis in which diameter of spray droplets had been reduced in steps from 800 to 200 micrometers at the liquid water flow rate that had been kept constant over the 5 meter log section represented by the simulation domain. To avoid the dependence of the algebraic model on the input parameters from the CFD simulations, that is, on the droplet volume fraction R and the spray width X, the droplet speed U can be calculated from the force balance, where the droplet drag coefficient CD is obtained via the Schiller-Neumann correlation. The main attenuation parameter R times X can be found from the mass conservation equation, where M dot is the mass flow rate 
and L is the length of the section, which is 5 meters in the investigated case. These few relations show that with the reduction of the droplet diameter D, the absorption coefficient kappa increases. The droplet speed U decreases and the main attenuation parameter R times X also increases. Note that the droplet terminal speed U is the lowest speed a droplet can attain during a freefall and therefore will, in most cases, lead to an overestimate of the radiation attenuation. The results of the parametric analysis for a single curtain system are shown in Table 1. The first column is presenting a list of droplet diameters which had been included in the study. The second column the related droplet speed and the third column the attenuation parameter R times X. The last column contains the anticipated irradiation heat flux at 75 meters from the origin or 45 meters from the tank wall. It is shown that the desired level of radiation attenuation is achieved when the droplet diameter is reduced below 500 micrometers. But the smaller diameter droplets do create a narrower spray, which does require an increased number of smaller nozzles with a lower flow rate per unit length. Based on the results of the algebraic parametric modeling, CFD simulations had been also conducted for droplet diameters of 500, 400 and 300 micrometers. The number of nozzles had been doubled, whereas the water flow rate per nozzle halved to preserve the overall flow rate. Below is the list of parameters for the upward and the downward directed nozzles, as implemented in the CFD model. The vertical elevation of the frame with nozzles had been increased from 5 to 6.5 meters to improve the coverage and to preserve the height small droplets are able to reach. The initial droplet speed had been left unchanged at 12 meters per second for the downward sprays and 28 meters per second for the upward sprays. Figure 12 shows the particle trajectories and figure 13 the irradiation heat flux at 75 meters from the origin for one of the cases where the drop diameter is 300 micrometers. To quantify these simulation results, figure 14 presents the vertical distribution of the main attenuation parameter R times X and figure 15 the resulting irradiation heat flux and 75 meters for all investigated droplet diameters. The results clearly demonstrate that with increasing value of attenuation parameter, the irradiation heat flux decreases. In the case of droplet diameter of 300 micrometers, most of the local irradiation heat flux is below the required value of 3 kilowatts per square meter. Table 2 summarizes the average irradiation heat flux at 75 meters from the origin. Based on the presented results, we can confirm that the droplet diameter should be reduced to 400 micrometers for a single curtain system and the nozzle raised to 6.5 meters in order to provide an adequate vertical coverage. In addition, we can also conclude that for larger droplet sizes, a double curtain system is necessary to reduce the irradiation level at 75 meters below 3 kilowatts per square meter. With this, I would like to thank you for all your attention. I hope you found the lecture interesting. For any specific question, please do not hesitate to contact me.